Hey guys, and welcome to another video involving my cat. Wait, move. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how they do this. Anyway, welcome to another kind of um, chat video. I did one, well, I think I only did it last week. It seems like a lot longer. So much has happened in the last week regarding comebacks and stuff. And I kind of wanted to do another one um, because I'm just like really happy um, this week. Um, I'm really happy with a lot of the comebacks and uh, I am a little bit sad as well um, but we'll get into that but I kind of just wanted to kind of just talk through how I'm feeling about the recent comebacks and um, as you can see in my lovely little uh, note thingy I've got lots of different things that I want to talk about um, so CLC Cube's new girl group um, who made their debut Mina from um, Girls Day made her solo debut Miss A's comeback. This is the thing that's making me sad. <laughs> I'm not really going to talk much about this. But I'm just going to probably sulk. Um, EXO and their solution. I'm not even sure if that's serious. That's a second cat. Oh, for the love of God. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll talk about that one. Oh, FG Island's comeback. Uh, I want to talk about Boyfriend Rufy. And Red Velvet. Okay, but the main reason why I kind of wanted to to do this it was kind of to talk a little bit about Red Velvet because they recently came back um, so now listen Red Velvet I had a bit of a, a a rough time of it when they made their debut with Happiness there was a lot of controversy regarding FX because they were promoting with Red Light and then all of a sudden that stopped obviously there was some stuff going on but then all of a sudden Red Velvet um, debuted and it's typical SM whenever there's any kind of scandal or controversy they do something like this so you know I know they were due to debut I'm not quite sure whether it was supposed to make their debut then I don't know but all I know is that I was really happy with their debut song I loved happiness um, I also seriously seriously I'm really sorry that's three <laughs> I'm hoping that they won't do it anymore um, yeah, I was really happy with their debut. So when um, when I heard they were coming back, I was so excited because I really love them. I think they're great, and I was blown away by this. I really loved. Um, I loved Automatic. As soon as Automatic dropped, I was like, Oh, okay, I need to pre-order. So I pre-ordered their album. Um, I also really love Ice Cream Cake as well. I think it's amazing. It's such a good song, and the album is really good. So I'm really happy. I'm a little bit miffed because I pre-ordered the album, and there's two different versions, and I didn't realise there was two different versions. I don't know if it was clearly stated when I actually pre-ordered it, but whatever. Um, so I'm not quite sure which album I'm going to get. So whichever one I get, I might end up ordering the second one if that makes sense. Um, but yes, I'm really, really happy with Red Velvet, and uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to share that. Um, I also wanted to just say about Mina as well. Um, Girls' Days, Mina's made her um, her solo debut with I'm a Woman too, which is gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning, and I've ordered that along with Red Velvet, so they'll both be coming at the same time. Um, I really love Mina. I think she's amazing, so I'm so glad she's got a solo and the album's really good, so I'm really, really happy. Um, I really love the video, and oh, she's amazing, so I'm really, really happy as well. Um, and then I kind of wanted to talk about um, CLC. Um, I wanted to just keep all the girls together. Um, so CLC is Cube's new um, girl group. And, um, oh, they've come on in the background. I really love them. I absolutely was like, I'm determined not to fall in love with any more girl groups. And then I kind of saw the teaser and was like, oh yeah, they kind of sound like a female B2B. And then they released the MV and actually they do sound an awful lot like a female B2B. But I really love it. I love her. I think I really love her style and and I really love her song. I listened to the album and I I, I haven't ordered it yet, but I am quite tempted. Um, it seems to be just in, um, inundated with comebacks. So... Um, I, I haven't ordered it yet. You know, I've, I have a funny feeling that I, I probably will by the end of the week, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy. If you haven't checked out Red Velvet or Mina or CLC, then please do so because they're amazing. I know a lot of you don't really do girl groups, um, but you are missing out on great music. Um, so please check them out. Uh, Cray and Pop is due to come back as well. I love Cray and Pop. Um, so I'm really excited for them as well. They're, teasers and everything look really funny so I'm really really happy but 
the one that I want to talk about next. The one I'm most excited about, and I've been saying for so long about when they're coming back, because it's been so long since they released Hush, is Miss A, who, it's been like, I don't know, 18 months since their last comeback, which feels longer than it actually does, but uh, I really cannot wait for their comeback, because I love Miss A, they're one of my favourite girl groups, I say that about a lot of girl groups, but they really are one of my favourite girl groups, and uh, I'm really excited, I know it's going to be amazing, I'm totally waiting and ready to support them, along with all the other comebacks. Um, I, I don't really have very much money, so this is gonna, it's going to be tough for the next few months, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to keep up. I'm just going to try and focus on getting like new releases rather than getting any like previous stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the girl stuff for the guys. Um, I'm going to talk about someone who I've never talked about before, and that's Boyfriend. Over here. Um, Boyfriend are a group that I've never liked. I've never been a big fan of Boyfriend, and it's not because they make bad music or anything like that. They're just not my type. They're just not my style. Oh, I sound like Chris. It's not my style. Chicken is not my style. Anyway, um, I've never been a big fan of, like, sorry, like, um, cute boy bands, you know? So Boyfriend are like the epitome of, of cuteness, um, and I find it quite overpowering with Boyfriend sometimes. Um, now when they released Witch, I was quite taken aback because I quite liked Witch. I even downloaded it off iTunes. And, and then they released Bounce, which has just come on actually. Um, and I really love Bounce. Like, I literally cannot stop listening to it. I really love the video, it's very Alice in Wonderland. And uh, yeah, I'm really quite impressed. Um, I'm not going to like order their, their albums because I really can't get involved with that. But I just kind of wanted to mention that I really enjoy the song and that if you haven't heard Boyfriend's Bounce, because for similar reasons it's never been a, a, a band that you liked, um, then check it out because the MV is really good um, and, and, the, and the song's really good. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy that they've, um, they've released some... Uh, music that I like for a change. Uh, the only one previously that I liked was Aya. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I have three boyfriend um, songs downloaded on my iPad now, so yay! Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is FT Island's comeback, which um, I am... I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am because there just is no words to describe. FT Island is a group that I have loved for a very long time and um, I cannot, I cannot wait, I cannot wait for their comeback. So they release their To Their Light MV, which is like a pre-release kind of thing. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, please do so because it is amazing. I, I did cry, I cried when I was watching it. What a sad little cowbag I am. But I just, I just loved it so much. And they released a little teaser for Prey, and I'm just like, oh my good lord. Um, I'm really quite excited. I haven't pre-ordered their album yet, but I'm fairly certain I probably will by the end of the week. Um, the only reason is I'm just keeping an eye on my funds at the moment, um, just to see how screwed I'm going to be after I've actually pre-ordered it. So, <laughs> so yes, I just wanted you guys to know how excited I am about FT Island's comeback. And the last comeback that I want to talk about is EXO, who currently are killing me at the moment with their freaking Exolution tour. I don't even know if I've pronounced that right. Exolution tour. However you pronounce that. Um, there's a lot of fan cams around. I'm spending quite a lot of time watching these fan cams and there's a lot... It's really strange because I cannot remember the last time anyone released a lot of new material before the album. So they've been doing Exolution for, I don't know, like a few weeks now? It'd be probably like... They're due to, I think, come back at the end of March, beginning of April. And they're doing the concerts with a lot of new music. So they're Call Me Baby, which is their new um, um, song. Sorry, my words then. Um, there's a lot of other stuff as well. And it, it sounds amazing. I'm so excited. Um, but these, I've just, some of the performances they're putting off. Now, if you've seen the, um, the performance, if you guys have been watching the fan cams, well, hello. There's been some quite shocking, there's been a lot of skin and a lot of sexiness. They seem to have umped the, uh, the skin and the sexiness up. Um, yeah, Shimin <laughs> and Wakai and Sayan as well. There's been Mai Yixing as well. Wow, sexy boys are on parade. 
Um, if you haven't seen the, any fan cams, then please check them out. If X is not really your, your thing, then check them out anyway, because they are really good. I really do like the feel of Call Me Baby. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, the only thing I um, am not happy about is how long we have to wait for, um, for their comeback, because it's ridiculous. I'm just like, come on. It's really strange. But I'm really, really excited and looking forward to it. Um, I'm waiting for one I can pre-order, because as soon as I can pre-order, I'm there. Um, so that's pretty much it for the positives. The only other thing, I'm going to um, leave this, this video on a bit of a downer, because Big Bang's come back. Apparently YG has come out now to say that it's been pushed back a little bit more um, to the end of... Well, they're, they're due to have some concerts at the end of April, but I don't think it's going to be April. I think it's going to be May. Uh, it may be even longer. They are perfectionists. Um, now, I am a little bit grumpy about it, but I'm used to YG and his troll tactics. Um, I, I wonder whether maybe the reason... Well, I'm not quite sure what the reason is, but they are perfectionists, so they're delaying it to get it right. So as long as when they release it, it's amazing, which I'm sure it's going to be, that's fine. Until Big Bang come back, which hopefully is this year, <laughs> um, there is a lot of great music to, to enjoy. All these great comebacks and I, for one, am very excited about all the wonderful music that has been released so far. Um, my favourite comeback still is 4 Minutes Crazy, um, followed closely by Junsu's Flower. Um, I'm still waiting for my Junsu album, um, so I'm, I'm really quite annoyed. It got posted two weeks ago, so as soon as that comes in, uh, I'll do an unboxing. Um, I have got a few other things coming, so I've got Exa's um, Japanese Concert Lost Planet DVD coming. Um, and um, there's been a little bit of a change, because I originally ordered um, from Yes Asia, uh, BTS, Wake Up. There was a Kara album in there, and an A-Pink um, single as well. However, uh, Yes Asia contacted me to tell me that they couldn't get hold of BTS. So I had to cancel my order and then redo the order. So I didn't order any BTS. I have no more BTS coming. I, I wanted to order the Kara album again, but it was actually in the sale originally. And when I went to go and order it again, it was no longer in the sale. So I don't have any more Kara. However, I have ordered some more stuff. Girl group related, Japanese related. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and yeah. Apart from that, I've got Red Velvet and Minas coming, and then I will eventually get round to ordering FT Island and maybe CLC as well. <sighs> oh, man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave a comment. Till next time, ciao!